Good morning, ESM. I'm Soph. And I'm Anthony. And today, we're going to be going over another 10 of Rolling Stone, Stone's top 100 songs of all time. We'll start after news and announcements. Skyline Apartments in Syracuse have been declared unfit to live for the third time. After inspecting the apartments on Monday, officials found blood, urine, and trash in common areas. A 31-year-old woman was also recently shot in an elevator. Mayor Ben Walsh and Police Chief Kenton Buckner held a news conference and discussed that even though 911 calls have to the building have decreased in the last year, improvements have not been enough. Walsh says that the best plan is for apartments to get new owners. Ukraine, Ukraine has been seeing many headlines over the last few months regarding Russia proclaiming war with over 100,000 troops amassed at the Ukraine border. Politically, things have been going back and forth for several months, but the tension has been building up for nearly eight years. Many citizens have been following standard survival rules, such as stocking up on food, having a des designated meeting spot with loved ones, if you weren't lucky enough to take shelter in the subway, people have been hiding in places such as underground parking lots, cellars, and other underground places. In the wake of the last buildup, numerous countries, including the U.S. and Britain, have pulled much of their embassy staff with the expectation of violence. New York State Supreme Court Judge Rademacher has made the decision regarding masks and COVID protocols within the classroom. The New York State Education Department plans to seek an appeal in favor of mask policies remaining the same. Judge Raidmaker stated the rule, the ruling of not intended was an opinion on the effectiveness of masks to slow the spread of COVID-19, but only spoke to whether the mandate was properly enacted and enforceable. In a statement yesterday from Dr. Desiato, it has been confirmed that the district shall continue to require all students and staff to wear masks for the health and safety of our community and in accordance with the recommendation of the New York State Department and County Departments of Health and Center for Disease Control. The district will also be continuing to work with legal counsel to update masking protocols in accordance with the state and interest of the safety and st of staff and students. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. and don't worry about others say like just have as much fun as you can it's totally worth it i really enjoy it because it like i get other opportunities so like i can do marching band and win a percussion i just become really close to a bunch of people and it's really nice stick with it i quit briefly briefly in ninth grade i uh, regretted it i missed it i came back in 10th grade it was a really good decision trust me you're not going to regret it it's a really good experience especially if you're really into music and also just like spending time around uh, really friendly people it doesn't matter what share you get just like in the end it'll sound all like great all together my favorite memory is the friends i've created and the relationships that i have created with my instructors just just try your best like it's not really that stressful as long as you try and go to your lessons.
Like the video said, if you are interested in rejoining the band program, Mr. Ezzo and Mr. Vega would love you to get your instrument back out. If you have any questions about joining, go down to the band room, room G3, and talk to the two new band teachers today. Don't forget to make concert band one of your course selections tomorrow. Go Spartans! Okay, so our first song today, we have Aretha Franklin, You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman. This song was originally written by Carol King, but was given to Aretha to sing after, after Carol heard her sing Respect. Next song is Hey Jude by the Beatles. This is probably like one of the most well-known songs of like all time, so we really don't need to go into very much depth. And then next we have Guns N' Roses, Sweet Child of Mine. Me being an avid Nirvana fan, I don't like Guns N' Roses, but I can't deny that this song is pretty good. Next song is All My Friends by LCD Sound System. I honestly don't know much about this song, but from the little part I heard of it, it was pretty good. All right, we're going to go over to weather, and we'll have more next. Today, we will have a high of 27 and a low of 1 degree. Today, we'll have mostly scattered snow showers in the morning that will lead into some lake snow in the afternoon. Tomorrow is Wednesday and we'll have a high of 12 and a low of negative 3. And much like today, Wednesday will be similar in the fact that it'll have snow throughout the day here and there. Thursday is going to be a lot warmer with a high of 24 and a low of 20 degrees while being mostly cloudy with lots of sun. With that, I'm Grayson with your Tuesday morning weather. Alright, so next on the list at 86 is the Rolling Stones' Tumbling Dice. Rolling Stones is one of the most famous bands of all time. Okay, we have Prince Kiss. I remember hearing this song all the time growing up, and it is a good one. Alright, next song is Let's Stay Together by Al Green. This is honestly one of my mom's favorite songs. She plays it a lot. And then we have Bob Dylan, Desolation Row. I've never heard the song, but I do love Bob Dylan. Yep. Next song is Rolling in the Deep by Adele. This song was released 11 years ago. Holy cow. Wow, time flies. In 81, we have The Velvet Underground, I'm Waiting for the Man. I am a huge Velvet Underground fan. I love them, so glad to see them on here. After sports, we'll talk about which one of these was our favorites. Congratulations to junior wrestler Max Wunderlich, who is currently ranked second in the section in the 285 weight class. Max currently has a 27-4 record. The boys basketball team lost to JD 56-53. Tristan Henderson led the team with 17 points, and Cole Thomas scored 9 points for the team. In upcoming games, girls and boys bowling has a match at home against Auburn at 3.30. And tonight, the girls volleyball team has their senior night against Chittenango at 6.30. The girls basketball team has a game at Oneida at 6.30. And the ice hockey team plays at CNS at 7.15. And I'm John with your sports. My favorite song out of these was Hey Jude. I just love the message that Paul McCartney wrote to Julian. Yeah, I would say, honestly, that is my favorite song on this list, too. It's just, I mean, it's a timeless classic. All right, and that's all the time we have for you today. So for me, Anthony, and everyone here at a morning show, have a great day.